Richard the Lionheart, the Crusader King, a tale of medieval majesty. The legend of Richard the Lionheart, a moniker that evokes images of chivalry, courage, and the fervent zeal of the medieval crusades, continues to captivate the imaginations of people today. Richard I of England, commonly known as Richard the Lionheart, was a 12th century monarch who left an indelible mark on history. This towering figure of the Middle Ages is remembered not only for his martial prowess and exploits in the Holy Land but also for his complex character, his turbulent relationship with his family, and the enduring impact of his reign on the course of European history. In this comprehensive exploration, we will delve deep into the life and times of Richard the Lionheart, examining his birth and upbringing, his rise to power, his role in the Crusades, his legacy, and the broader historical context in which he lived. Join us on this journey through the annals of medieval Europe and the Holy Land as we seek to unravel the enigma of Richard the Lionheart, the Crusader King. Richard the Lionheart was born on September 8, 1157, in Oxford, England, at the height of the Plantagenet dynasty's power. He was the third son of King Henry II of England and Eleanor of Aquitaine, two of the most influential figures of the 12th century. Richard's birth took place against a backdrop of political intrigue, as his parents' tumultuous marriage and struggles for power marked his earliest years. Intense rivalries and power struggles characterized Richard's family. His father, Henry II, was a formidable king who sought to expand his dominions, leading to conflicts with his sons. Richard's relationship with his siblings, especially his younger brothers Henry, Geoffrey, and John, would shape his life in significant ways. The tension among these brothers would ultimately play a pivotal role in the unfolding drama of Richard's reign. Despite the challenges of his family life, Richard received a comprehensive education. He was well versed in Latin, a common language among the educated elite of the time, and received instruction in warfare, heraldry, and other knightly skills. These early lessons would serve him well in his future military endeavors. As Richard matured, he became embroiled in the power struggles of his family. In 1173, he joined a rebellion against his father led by his mother, Eleanor, and his brothers. This revolt, known as the Great Revolt, aimed to challenge Henry II's authority and redistribute power within the family. Richard's involvement showcased his growing assertiveness and desire for autonomy. Despite the rebellion, Henry II maintained a strong grip on his realm. He managed to quell the uprising and reconcile with his sons, but the underlying tensions persisted. Richard's relationship with his father remained strained, marked by a power struggle that foreshadowed future conflicts. In 1189, King Henry II died, passing the English throne to Richard. This transition of power marked a turning point in Richard's life. He was now not only the Duke of Aquitaine but also the King of England, a position that would demand all of his leadership and military skills. One of the defining chapters in Richard's life was his participation in the Third Crusade. His involvement in this holy endeavor would solidify his reputation as a warrior king. The catalyst for Richard's journey to the Holy Land was the capture of Jerusalem by the formidable Muslim leader, Saladin, in 1187. This event sent shockwaves throughout Christendom and galvanized European monarchs to take action. Richard embarked on a journey to the Holy Land, but not before securing his realm and raising the necessary funds for the expedition. The task of preparing for the crusade was immense, requiring a complex logistical effort to gather troops, supplies, and financial support. Richard arrived in the Holy Land in 1191 and immediately took command of the crusader forces. His military prowess shone brightly as he engaged in a series of campaigns against Saladin's armies. One of the most famous clashes occurred at the Battle of Arsuf in 1191, where Richard's disciplined and skilled troops triumphed over Saladin's forces. A series of battles, negotiations, and diplomatic efforts marked Richard's campaign in the Holy Land. In 1192, 
he signed the Truce of Jaffa with Saladin, securing a three-year peace agreement that allowed Christian pilgrims access to Jerusalem. While Jerusalem remained in Muslim hands, Richard's military successes and strategic acumen ensured the survival of the Crusader states. In 1192, Richard decided to return to England. His presence was needed to address domestic affairs and the challenges posed by his younger brother, John, who had allied with Richard's erstwhile enemies in a bid for power. Richard's journey back to England would be fraught with danger and intrigue. During his return journey, Richard was captured near Vienna by Leopold V, Duke of Austria, who accused him of arranging the murder of his cousin, Conrad of Montferrat. Richard's imprisonment in the fortress of Dernstein would last for over a year, sparking a massive ransom effort and diplomatic negotiations. The ransom demanded for Richard's release was exorbitant, amounting to a sum that strained the resources of England and its allies. The process of raising this immense ransom would have far-reaching consequences for Richard's kingdom and his relationship with his subjects. Richard was finally released from captivity in 1194 after the ransom was paid. His return to England was marked by jubilation among his subjects, who had eagerly awaited their beloved king's return. Richard's popularity among the common people was a testament to his status as a legendary warrior and symbol of chivalry. Upon his return, Richard faced continued challenges from his brother John, who had allied with Philip II of France. A period of conflict ensued, but Richard's military prowess and political maneuvering ultimately secured his position. He also reconciled with his mother, Eleanor of Aquitaine, and sought to restore stability to his realm. Tragically, Richard's life was cut short on March 6, 1199, when an arrow struck him during a siege in Calachebrol, France. Despite receiving medical treatment, the wound became infected, leading to his untimely death. Richard's death marked the end of an era and left his realm in the hands of his brother John. Richard the Lionheart's legacy as a warrior king is one of his most enduring contributions to history. His military campaigns in the Holy Land showcased his martial prowess, tactical brilliance, and unwavering commitment to the Crusader cause. Richard's reputation as a chivalrous knight and fearless leader made him a symbol of heroism in the medieval world. Richard's legendary status extended beyond his military exploits. He became a central figure in medieval romance literature, with tales of his adventures and valor spreading throughout Europe. The Robin Hood legend, for example, often features Richard as a key character. His image was further romanticized in subsequent centuries, leaving an indelible mark on European culture. Richard's reign had a lasting impact on the Angevin Empire, a vast territory that included England, Normandy, Aquitaine, and other regions. While Richard's absence during his crusade and imprisonment created challenges, his leadership and achievements helped solidify the empire's place in European geopolitics. Richard's family, the Plantagenets, continued to play a prominent role in English and European history. His younger brother, John, succeeded him as king and faced his own set of challenges, including the signing of the Magna Carta in 1215. The Plantagenet dynasty would produce a series of notable monarchs, leaving a lasting impact on England's history. The life and legacy of Richard the Lionheart are a tapestry of military valor, political intrigue, and cultural influence. As a warrior king, he stands as a symbol of medieval chivalry and the crusader spirit. His campaigns in the Holy Land left an indelible mark on history and contributed to the broader narrative of the Crusades. Beyond his martial exploits, Richard's complex relationship with his family, his struggles for power, and his enduring popularity in literature and folklore add depth to his historical legacy. Richard the Lionheart's reign, while relatively short, had a profound impact on the course of European history and the shaping of the Angevin Empire. As we reflect on the life of this enigmatic monarch, we are reminded of the enduring fascination that medieval history holds for us. Richard the Lionheart's legacy continues to inspire and captivate, offering a glimpse into a bygone era of knights, 
castles, and epic quests for honor and glory.